But this afternoon, we're going to give our first ever award for an individual who's not elected to office, although probably should be, uh, for contributing so selflessly to the local Sacramento secular scene. Uh, I cannot possibly speak highly enough of Judy Saint. Um, Judy has been uh, an inspiration, a hero to so many people, myself included, uh, because I don't know where you find the time to go to meetings and advocate and keep an eye on what's going on and rally people together and write a newsletter for so many years and just do it without complaining, without, with a smile on your face, unless you're talking to somebody who needs a talking to, like some of the people at some of the cities that have violated the separation of church and state, am I right? So um, without further ado, I want Judy to come up here so we can give her our first ever community award. <laughs> Judy, come on up here. <laughs> you are amazing. Thank you. So here this is. We'll get a yeah. There's there's our there's Ben. So Judy, this says, California Free Thought Day presents this award to Judy Saint in recognition of her vigorous promotion of secular values to the Sacramento community, the media, and elected officials while tirelessly defending secular rights. Judy, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you so much. I'll just take a second. Um, thank you, David. Thank you, Free Thought Day. Thank you for coming. It's, it's certainly an honor, especially to be on the same stage today as Representative McNerney, oh my goodness. Um, I'm here today at the Freedom From Religion Foundation table back here. You might remember us when we put up 55 billboards around Sacramento with all those happy atheists on it. That was a couple of years ago. We, we were the third most reported news story in the entire nation when we even announced they weren't even up yet. So, my goodness. So. I have done a lot of different things and I wanted to share with you something that changed my whole life that I think put me on the path to being someone who would do so many things. It was when I was maybe 11 or 12 years old. I don't think I've ever told this story, maybe to my wife, I don't know, but I don't think I have ever shared this story, but it changed my whole life for the better. I was maybe 11 or 12 years old and I was raised with four brothers, which I'm very proud of, they're great people. I was walking down the hall to my room and my dad called out, don't step over it, pick it up. And so I, I didn't even know I was really stepping over something, but I was, you know, certain, you know, four brothers. I don't think it was mine. And being a little kid, I turned around and I said, but I didn't put it there. And this is what changed my life. He said, that doesn't matter. That doesn't matter. And that struck me as, well, of course it matters, fairness, all that. You know, somebody else. Would... And he said, you're there, you see it. And it was that simple, that's all he had to say, and that changed my entire life because I had no argument for that. And so I go through life from that time pretty much on, even today, with happier eyes because I look for what I can do. I don't look around, oh, that's somebody's job. Well, someone should pick that up. Well, someone should do that. Oh, I wish there were people who would be responsible. You see it, you're there. You don't say yes to everything, of course, but you say yes to a lot. And so I've ended up having the most fantastic opportunities and things happen in life. And you might try it because I think it might make you a happier person. It works for me and it makes me an optimist taking life by the horns. That's the way I look at things. And this is a very, very heartfelt acknowledgement of my having done these things. I really appreciate it. Thank you, David, and thank you for coming.